I'm beginning to think that this thing maybe isn't Ben at all. In its sadistic nature, I wouldn't be surprised if it took the boy's name after it killed him. 12.04pm. My room is beginning to feel different again. There's something out there. I feel really threatened, like there's something that's trying to reach out to me and strangle me, but can't quite get there. 12.46pm. I think Ben doesn't want to play with me anymore. I'll play again. I'll play the game again, Ben. Can you see this? I'll play the game again, please. Just stop this, please, please. 1.41pm. I'm going insane trying to decide what is real and what isn't. Is Ben just playing a trick on me or is this for real? Is Ben generating these replies or are people actually posting them? Did I just see that screen flicker or was it my imagination? Imagine depending on the internet and trusting your eyes for your entire life and then being blinded. You can't rely on it anymore. You second guess everything. For the brief moments I am looking at my responses to the videos, people were pointing out things that looked fake or photoshopped or whatever. And there is literally no way for me to know if Ben changed something on purpose to try and shut me up. Or if maybe those replies were just constructed by Ben to try and discourage me from even reaching out. See, I get fucking caught in an infinite mind loop like this, and this is what has been wearing on my sanity and pushing me to the edge. As I'm writing this, there's no way of even telling if anyone cares as much as I think they do. Just another fucking trick. Does this whole document even exist? Am I writing nothing? 9, 9, 10. Conversation 2. What is it? What's the point of playing? I die whenever I do anything. You die because you can't figure out the secrets. What? Thematic. What the fuck are you talking about? There's beauty in your suffering. 4.09pm. Ben is making me play the game again. It tells me that it has something very important to show me. 6.23 p.m. Summary of the Drowned.wmv playthrough. 9.09 p.m. Summary of the Children.wmv playthrough. September 10, 2010. 11.52 a.m. The Drowned WMV playthrough was up when I woke up today. I remember typing it up, but I don't ever remember posting it. He censored it again. There's no mentioning of the old man. I have no voice anymore. I'm only posting what he wants me to. I am the mask he uses to disguise himself as he lies. 11.55 AM. There's an entire video summary of a video that I don't remember doing. Reading through the summary, this sounds morbid, resembling my dream from two nights ago, except on a far more sadistic scale. These moon children, there's nothing more to them, almost as if they're another entity from Ben. Something happened last night that I can't remember. I'm posting the fourth summary to the forums now. Shadow of my chair moved. 12 p.m. Ben won't let me visit YouTube. I can browse the rest of the sites, but he keeps exiting the window when I go to YouTube. Why? 2.02 p.m. I'm feeling the air start to constrict. I don't think I'm alone here. Whatever aura has been here is getting more violent. 2.44 p.m. I'm trying to contact Ben on Cleverbot. He's not responding. I just get the AI. 3.51 p.m. My ears aren't fooling me. I'm hearing the reverse song of healing. I keep hearing it. 4.23 p.m. Now I'm positive of it. Earlier I thought it was a weird coincidence, but just now I went to open my window, and three floors down at ground level I saw the old man. I'm completely positive I did. The same guy, 
He was just staring up at my window, standing in the middle of campus. If any students took notice of him, they didn't seem to acknowledge it. That's where my notes end. I fled my room, taking the cartridge with me. I don't want to go into details of what happened. I'll lose my train of thought as I hammer out these last details. It's been roughly two days since then. This is my last summary and service to you of the final video you guys saw, Matt.wmv. The last video entry I made, Matt.wmv, began as normal. I was spawned in Clock Town as usual, but nothing seemed to be out of place. Determined to set things right and play the oath to order on top of the clock tower on the fourth day, I prepared myself. I sped up time and got to the final day, making my way to the observatory. As I got up to the telescope room and approached the astronomer, he would not let me look into his telescope. He told me that it would be cheating and that I should follow the rules. Despite my repeated efforts, the game would not let me do the fourth day glitch, no matter how hard or what I tried. I tried working around the game and doing the glitch, but it was adamant this time. Regardless of if I simply had the illusion of free will in prior games, this time the game became more aggressive than anything I've ever seen. It eventually told me to go to Ikena Canyon, where the game would end and it would stop hunting me. Anxious and desperate to end this nightmare, I played the Song of Soaring and ended up there. I was told to check my inventory, that I would find the answers there to end the game. I arrived at Akana Canyon and saved my progress at the Owl Statue. As I searched through my inventory, I finally noticed that I was missing a reoccurring song. The Elegy of Emptiness. Obviously, once I had travelled there and learned the song, I suppose that that was the last thing it needed before Ben decided it had had enough fun playing with me. Ben is a manipulator. He tries to fool his victims into security and makes you drop your guard like a Venus flytrap. He ensnares them. I'm nothing but a puppet to him. He enjoys seeing what kind of human emotions he can tap into by doing different things. There are still some things about this whole experience that still don't make sense. But then again, I was never good at figuring out these things, and I'm not exactly in the right state of mind to. I'm giving you all the pieces of the puzzle for you to analyse and piece together the missing links. I'm typing these closing thoughts on the library computer on campus, and I've emailed myself the notes I've stored on my infected computer from the last four days. I'm then going to combine those copy-paste notes with the closing openings that I've typed here on the safe, public computer into one text document. I'm not taking any chances spreading them. I would not wish this horrible torment to anyone, and I've made sure to have my bases covered here. I didn't run into any problems with Ben when I was back on my computer trying to email myself the notes. Went right under his fucking nose. He has no idea what he just let me do. Had no problems opening the text document from my infected computer in my email either. I can't describe to you how it feels to finally be able to get the word out in this post. The nightmare ends here. That said, do not download any of my videos or anything about my videos through a YouTube video or audio ripper, a screen grab, whatever. I don't know how he can spread, but I know that just watching them on YouTube or reading my text won't be able to allow him to spread. Otherwise, he wouldn't have needed my help in the first place, but I strongly recommend you don't take anything you see streaming online into your own personal computer. This will be my last posting I'm putting up on this forum here for the world. If you see any further posts from me, after today's current date, September 12th, and after the current time, 12.08am, discredit them.
It already has proven to me that Ben can access my account and password and manipulate my computer. And like I said, I have no idea to what extent it can do this. But know that it will do anything to break free. He is desperate. To ensure your safety, just forget about me. Please. And obviously this goes without saying, but from here on out do not download any images I may have put up, any files, anything. This fifth day will be my last day. I'm going to burn the cartridge and then come back to destroy my laptop. Again, even though I don't even know you, this is sort of bittersweet for me. This semester I really didn't have any friends, or rather, I stopped paying attention to them. But I suppose that's partially to blame because I'm the genius who picked to live in a single. I suppose someone to get a hold of me and save me before I got too immersed into this game would have literally saved my life. However, it proved too much for me. I'm just glad it happened to me, and I could get the warning out so that Ben dies here. Lastly, thank you for taking the time to open this and open yourselves up to me by hearing my story. Despite maybe not believing me, you didn't have to do that, really. You shouldn't have. Your support this entire time has kept me going, and now I'm finally free of this. Thanks again. Jadusable.